Lesson 2 Fundamental Principle of Zutai Idea. This lesson is on the fundamental principle of the Zutai Idea. The primary component of the Zutai Idea is the philosophical principle. The philosophical principle of the Zutai Idea clarifies man's position and role in the world. All systems and contents of the Zutai Idea is based on, developed by, and run through with the Zutai oriented philosophical principle. The Zutai idea elucidated newly the fundamental principle that man is the master of everything and decides everything. The fundamental principle of the Zutai idea clarified the position and role of man in the world. Leader Kim Jong il said The Zutai idea raised the fundamental question of philosophy by regarding man as the main factor and elucidated the philosophical principle that man is the master of everything and desires everything. The fundamental principle of the Zutai idea has two contents. One of them is that man is the master of everything and the other of them is that man desires everything. The principle that man is the master of everything gives an answer to the problem of position occupied by man in the world. The principle that man decides everything gives an answer to the problem of role played by man in the world. That man is the master of everything means that man is the master of the world and his destiny. Man is the master of the world. It means that man is a being who makes the surrounding world serve his will and desire to live. Whether or not man is the master of the world is determined by whether he adapts himself to the surrounding world or makes it serve him. Like other beings in the world, man is a being who lives not by adapting himself to environment, the surrounding world, but by making the world serve him. Man is a product of long development of natural evolution. However, man is not a simple material being whose fate is decided by law of nature. When he came out of the natural world, man emerged as a special being different from other material beings. That man is the master who makes the surrounding world serve his will and desire has been proved clearly through development of human history. Through the process of making the surrounding world favorable for him, man came to know that he is not a mere part of the world but distinguish it fundamentally from many living materials which are adapting themselves to the surrounding world to live. Man is regarded as the master of the world in the respect that he is a being who lives by making the surrounding world serve his will and desire. Man is the master of his destiny. It means that he is a being who takes responsibility on his destiny and shapes his destiny in accordance with his will and desire. Whether man becomes the master of his destiny or not is decided by the relationship between man and the surrounding world. As he is the master of the world who makes it serve him, man becomes the master of his destiny. That man decides everything means that he plays decisive role in transforming the world and shaping his destiny. Man plays decisive role in transforming the world. It means that he makes the biggest action that is the evolutional action among various factors acting on the transformation and development of the world. In order to make everything in the world serve him, man takes volitional part in the process of transforming and developing the world and makes the purposeful action in it. The law of changing and developing the world is recognized in a purposeful and conscious manner and utilized in an active way by man's role and thus the future of the world changes rapidly. Of course, material and technical devices or social system, natural and geographical environment cannot be neglected in transforming the world. However, every material and cultural wealth is created, living environment improved, and human society develops continuously into a more advanced one by creative effort and struggle of man. 
such a reality proves clearly that man plays decisive role in transforming and developing the world. Man is regarded as the transformer of the world in the respect that it transforms the surrounding world in an active way. Man plays decisive role also in shaping his destiny. It means that man's role is decisive among the factors which inflict influences upon the shaping of his destiny. As man's destiny is shaped in relation with the world, conditions and circumstances of the surrounding world become the factors influencing the shaping of his destiny. In particular, social relations and material established and cultural wealth created historically are the factors which give big influence upon man's activities and their result. However, man's role makes the biggest action among various factors that influence upon the shaping of his destiny. Influence given by the surrounding world upon the shaping of man's destiny is decided by how man makes activities. Man's activities are decisive as compared with objective factors related to the shaping of his destiny, and therefore, people say that man plays decisive role in shaping his destiny. The Tsutsi idea is evolved on the basis of the fundamental principle that man is the master of everything and decides everything. Man, who had accepted his position as the predestined fate, though he had dominated and transformed the world for a long time, could have the truth for his destiny and make active struggle to become the genuine master of his destiny thanks to the Tsutsi idea. Thank you for this lesson. Next lesson we will discuss about that man is a social being.